Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 12.4, Problem 12. This is Section 12.4, Problem Number 12. We have a function which is f of x equals e to the square root of 2x minus 13 power. So overall, this is a function with some e to some stuff, but before I start even getting into the f prime, let me rewrite the stuff a little bit. So I'm going to start with f, no, no prime yet, f of x equals e to the, and I'm going to write the exponent a little differently, 2x minus 13 in parentheses to the 1 half power. So that's still square root of 2x minus 13, but it's in a format now that I can deal with with my calculus rules. So f prime of x equals, we're going to have stuff prime, where the stuff is the 2x minus 13 in parentheses to the 1 half power, times e to some stuff. Now, in terms of the stuff prime, I'm going to need to apply the chain rule. So the chain rule was for stuff in parentheses to a power which is what I have here. I have 2x minus 13 in parentheses to a power which is 1 half. So f prime of x equals my exponent is going to come down in front of the stuff. So the 1 half comes in front. We're going to leave the stuff the same. 2x minus 13 we're going to reduce the exponent by 1, so it'll become minus a half, and then times stuff prime. So the stuff being 2x minus 13, the stuff prime is just 2. Right, the 2x gave me the 2. Whenever I have an x to the first power, the derivative is whatever the number in front is, just 2. The minus 13, because it had no x, its derivative is 0. So everything I have here came from the chain rule. The chain rule says to take the derivative of some stuff in parentheses to a power. The exponent comes down in front of the parentheses. I leave what's in the parentheses the same. I reduce the exponent by 1, and then I multiply times the derivative of what was in the parentheses. So all of that is just for the stuff prime part of my formula. So I can put that in some brackets and then times e to the stuff. So the e to the stuff is 2x minus 13 in parentheses to the 1 half. And if you like, you can simplify somewhat. You can put the uh, 1 half powers back to square roots. Uh, one thing that I will do in the chain rule portion of my answer for stuff prime, I have a 1 half in part of it. It's all being multiplied times a 2. Well, the 2 and the 1 half, I'd really like to cancel. Let's just cancel them. So we'll say f prime of x equals, well, the 2x minus 13 to the negative 1 half power. Because it's negative, it's really in the denominator 2x minus 13 to the positive 1 half. Or instead of positive 1 half power, I can make it a square root. And then, the e to the 2x minus 13 to the 1 half is in the numerator. e to the 2x minus 13. And again, you could put it in parentheses and raise it to an exponent of 1 half, or you could put it back to a square root format. So in its simplified form, f prime of x equals e to the square root of 2x minus 13 power in the numerator of a fraction and in the denominator square root of 2x minus 13.